Hey, wait. Show me, show me that trick again with your uh, protein shake. No, dude, I just had one. You gotta show it one more time for the camera. Happy? Are you happy now? That's awesome. Hey, what's up guys? Magic Bard with a quick visual effects tutorial, little movie magic trick that I'll show you guys how to do pretty quickly all in After Effects, um, how to grab an emoji out of the air that turns into a real object. So I first saw this off of the Instagram account, uh, two Venezolanos. These guys have a lot of really cool visual effects tricks. Um, that they do on their account almost like a Zach King account that it reminds me of so um, pretty awesome stuff and I saw it and I want to show you guys exactly how I think they did it but before we get started if you're new to my channel please subscribe and click that bell icon to be notified whenever my future videos are released so you'll be the first to get started on epic visual effects every single week and click on the like button if this helps you at all. With that being said, let's get in to the tutorial. I'm gonna show you how I shot it. So I have the camera on a tripod, I walk up to my actor Wade, and let me just play this one out to show you. Um, he snaps his fingers and then he pretends like there's a protein shake right there. Then as he goes to grab it, I tell him to freeze, and then I put the protein shake in his hand and then what we do is we, I say action, and then he will take the protein shake out um, as if it just appeared right there, and then take a sip. So that's really all you gotta do on the shot. The I took another shot of just the protein shake, and this is what I will mask out and create the emoji of. So really just a static shot of that. Um, you can even take a picture if you want. So let's uh, dive into it and create our video. So drag your clip into a new composition. Okay. And then what we're going to do is trim this clip up. So let's go to the part where, you know, he snaps his fingers and then what right before he freezes. So right as his hand grabs the shake and I'll do it before he closes his eyes so probably right there right where the play it is hit command shift D and that will split the clip and then we're gonna split it again um, at the end so he's got the shake in his hand right now and then right as he brings the protein shake closer to him and kind of grabs it out of the air is where we're going to make that cut again. So, right about here as it starts to move. Command Shift D to split that, and we'll take this middle layer and delete it. Okay, and then we can drag this guy in, and that will be our cut from boom to boom. Okay, so he kind of magically picks it out of the air. Um, this could also be an effect within itself where you can just pick things out of the air or if you're Mr. Miyagi and you have your chopsticks you can start picking flies out of the air and this is kind of how you would do it <laughs> so uh, all right, back into it now what I want to do is he snaps his fingers and right on the snap I want the protein shake to kind of appear right in the air right here so what we're going to do is take my other video clip that I have. Remember this can be a uh, picture. You don't have to actually film video. I'll drag that guy into our composition and I'm going to right click go to time and freeze frame because I don't need a video I just need a frozen clip. And then what I'm going to do is mask out my shake. So use the pen tool zoom in there and create your mask. Alright, so once you've got your mask, let's uh, move our protein shake into place. So let's go to that very last or the first frame of our second clip and I'm just going to name them for now. So I'll call this one Wade 2, 
and that's when he grabs it and then Wade won. Um, and Wade is our actor if you're wondering why I'm calling these Wade 1 and 2. So let's, uh, I'm going to drag this out and kind of zoom in there by pressing the plus sign on the keyboard. And I'm going to move this protein shake right where it should be on top of my other, my Wade 2 layer protein shake. So let's kind of zoom in there and check it out. So right about there looks good. Um, I'll press S and scale it up just a tad. Let me move that anchor point to the middle as well. Okay, and that looks good right there. Now I'm going to drag this layer and it's going to end right before this way two begins. Okay, so we're going to have boom and he's going to grab it like that. And I can actually move this over like that. Let's see how that looks. And then you can just scrub back and forth until it looks like he's grabbing it out of the air. So that looks good to me. Let's um, see if the snap, when he snaps, that's when the protein shake will come in place. So he snaps right there, boom and that's where I want the protein shake to start so I'll trim that down to there and now he's gonna snap boom alright cool I'll zoom out so I can show you guys so he snaps and the protein shake appears cool now let's turn this shake into an emoji so what we're going to do is go to our effects and presets type in cartoon drag this guy on here and let's start fidgeting with our cartoon parameters so the fill um, let's turn it up and then our edge we want that width to be turned up um, and our threshold so that will give it that kind of cartoony look to it um, and then turn down the shadow smoothness a bit okay so cool now we have our cartoon looking protein shake and now we want to add some edges to it so with our I'll rename this to protein shake with our protein shake selected hit Apple D or control D and on this bottom layer what we're going to do is add a fill so drop that fill effect onto our bottom layer and then you can delete the cartoon effect and make that fill white okay and let me show you that again since it was kinda off screen so I made it white press OK and what we're going to do is open up our mask so hit MM MM and where it says mass expansion we're gonna expand the mask okay so it's gonna create sort of that outline and we're gonna make it a little bit sorta of thick and then we're gonna add a black one so control D again to duplicate it and work on this bottom layer protein shake mass expansion a little bit more and change the color to black and you know that could be any color you want for the outline um, he's wearing a black shirt so it's kind of actually hard to see the black and make sure these are all lined up I don't know how that guy moved over Okay, cool. So now we have our cartoon emoji uh, protein shake. Now he grabs out of the air like that. Cool. Bam. And fix this part so there's no blank frames. So I'll select all these by holding the shift button and opening it up one more frame. And boom. Cool. Now we've got that. Okay, and I'll just change the color of these so for organizational purposes and I'll trim this down by bringing the playhead to the very end and pressing the N as in Nancy on our keyboard and then right clicking and going to trim comp to work area cool now we have our composition where your actor will grab an emoji out of the air or really anything out of the air whatever that might be and then you're essentially done if you have seen my other tutorials, you probably know what's coming next, which will be 
taking your composition and we'll call it uh, grabbing protein comp and dragging that into a new composition right here so that's basically what we did is pre-composed all those layers and now what we're going to do is um, let's see I need to change the composition settings to a 1920 by 1080 um, because I shot that in 4k on my Sony a7s 2 so I need to drop it down alright so once you guys have pre-composed your layer and remember guys if you did not shoot that shoot yours in 4k you don't have to do that extra step that I just did so now what we're going to do is go to layer new null object we're going to connect our layer to the null by using this parent pick whip tool and dragging it onto the null okay now it's parented as you can see right here we're going to press P alt click on the stopwatch right here and type in type in wiggle parentheses um, 2 comma 10 so that means the position will wiggle two times a second for 10 pixels okay and press enter so we're gonna to have to scale in a bit I'll hit the S scale up so we don't see those edges okay and then what we can do is now that it's connected to our null open up our uh, position and keyframe that scale keyframe that so I just press P and S I'm gonna press U to see both of my keyframes and I can start to move the camera around so I will zoom in by using the scale about here changing my position so Wade is in the center okay that looks good and then he'll snap so I'm gonna copy these keyframes control C or command C and command V so they're copied over and then I'm gonna to start to zoom out and move my position over to about here okay it zooms out as he grabs the shake boom and I'm happy if you've seen in my other tutorials I'll add a camera lens blur um, and then um, you can use that to make it look like you rack focus in really fast and then kind of zoom out so I think I did that on the head explosion tutorial so definitely check that out if you're interested in a little more advanced um, camera movement by using your null object. But other than that, that's the tutorial. If this tutorial helped you at all, please leave a like. And if you want to learn a certain effect, let me know in the comments section. Just hit me up and say um, you want to learn a specific effect either from the movies or from someone's account on Facebook, Instagram, or whatever social media you're on. And remember, I'm on social media at Magic Bard on Facebook and Instagram and Snapchat. Um, if you guys ever want to say what up or see what I'm doing behind the scenes, I like to post a lot of Photoshop stuff that I'm doing as well. And guys, that's really it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.